GC Ordinary Level History by Sir Moses. Welcome to this channel. Today we're going to focus on extract under the First World War. And we have chosen a particular extract, June 2017 extract that we are going to answer. Good. The June 2017 extract was proposed to us, right? By Southern Cameroon, 1922 to 1961, a constitutional history by Victor Julius Ngo. So this extract was the one that was set. That is the extract that we are going to answer today. Dear candidate, let's move on. Study this extract on the development in Cameroon during the years 1884 to 1916, and then answer question A to D, which follows. The maximum max for each sub-question is indicated in bracket. The German established a protectorate in Cameroon after having, after having deceived and maneuvered the British diplomatically. Between 1884 and 1914, they expanded and consolidated their rule on the territory. By 1914, the Germans had successfully taken the step towards uniting the coastal and inland, in, inland ethnic groups into a single cohesive modern nation. When the First World War broke out, Allied forces invaded German Cameroon. The West African Expeditionary Force captured the town Douala from the Germans. The Allied forces eventually captured Yaoundé and besieged the German forces in the Mora Fort. The departure of Zimmerman and Ebemari signaled the end of German rule in Cameroon. Following the defeat of Germany, Lancelot Oliphant and George Picot partitioned former German Cameroon. Good. Before we continue, dear students, take note. They said the German established a protectorate in Cameroon. The question to ask yourself, in which year was the Jamalodwala Treaty signed? The Jamalodwala Treaty was a treaty that gave Germany the right to administer Cameroon. Gave Germany the right that Cameroon belongs to her, right? So this treaty was signed on July 12th, 1884. Now, when they say after having deceived and maneuvered the British diplomatically, this was when Otto von Bismarck dispatched Gustav Naktiga to Cameroon to annex Cameroon secretly. When Naktiga arrived in Cameroon, he informed the British that Naktiga was not coming to annex Cameroon, but was coming to see how German trade and traders were doing. Hence, he deceived the British. The British were always surprised that on the 14th of July, 1884, Naktiga hosted the, the German flag. Now, they say when the First World War broke out, the next question to ask yourself, in which year did the First World War broke out? The First World War broke out in 1914 after the assassination of Azju Franz Ferdinand. Why did the Allies extend the war to Cameroon? Because, because Cameroon was a German colony. Now, the, the force that was formed by the Allies in Cameroon was known as the West African Expeditionary Force. This force was headed by General Charles Dubourg. This force that was formed after the Battle of Sanakan captured the town Douala from the Germans and eventually captured Yaoundé. And the last town to be captured was Mora. Who was Zimmerman? Zimmerman was the German military commander. He was the one who commanded all the German uh, army in Cameroon. Who was Ebamaya? Ebamaya was the last German governor in Cameroon. Lancelot Oliphant and George Picot were the British and French diplomats who partitioned Cameroon temporarily in 1916. Good. After explaining the extract, we we'll move now to answer the questions. The first question says, in which month and year did the German establish a protectorate, line one, in Cameroon? Remember, I told you that it was established in which year, July 12, 1884. Apart from the British, 
mentioned in the extra. Name one other European power that was deceived by the Germans, not indicated in the passage. A part of Britain and Germany that was indicated in the passage, the third European power that was never indicated was France. The next question says, give two ways by which the Germans consolidate their role on the territory as a state. Good. They, they consolidate their role, right, through what effective occupation of the Western coast so as to check British influence. Your adoption of German judicial system. You have the establishment of military stations. The next question, B Roman one, identify an inline ethnic groups that aided the Germans in achieving the task of uniting the Cameroonians into a modern nation. Yeah, they're asking you to identify the tribes that collaborated with the Germans. You are the Bali. You are the Bamun and you are the Ewondo. Bali was from Gadiga one, Bamun was King Joya, Ewondo was Charles, Chief Charles Atangana. In the passage, give the name of one coastal and one inland ethnic group that resisted the Germans' move of creating a modern nation as described below. To remember, the first question that we answered just now that identified or B1 was asking tribes who collaborated with the Germans. Now, B2 is asking tribes who resisted the Germans. In the one of the coastal chiefs was Rudolf Dwala Manga, Bell of Dwala, who wanted to form a, a united front against the Germans. Then one of the tribes in the inland, inland was, or one of the chiefs in the inland was Kiva Likenye of Bakweri land. Give three reasons why the ethnic group mentioned above resisted the German. The asking the reason why these tribes that resisted the German, why did they resist the German? Because of the appointment of chief without the concern of what tra the tradition of the people, the disrespect of native rulers, destruction of native rights of middleman trade monopoly, heavy taxation and public flogging influence the tribe to resist the German. Write down the full meaning of the word W-A-E-F as mentioned in the passage and who was the commander. The full meaning of this word was West African Expeditionary Force and it was headed by General Charles Dubel. Give the month and the year when Zimmerman and Ebemari left Cameroon, marking the end of German rule. Yeah, that just asking you in which year the German rule ended in Cameroon month and year, February 1916. Now, D Roman one, with reference to the passage, which country did Lancelot Oliphant and George Picot represent during the partition of Cameroon? Lancelot Oliphant represented Britain, Picot represented France. Now, the last questions. What were the effects of the inhabit? What were the effect of the partition on the inhabitants of Cameroon? Good. End of what? Harsh German rule. Division of ethnic groups as they were partitioned. Separation of families as they were partitioned. Introduction of new colonial policy like indirect rule and assimilation. There, from five candidates, here comes the end of these questions and answer all these extracts and answer under the first world war make use of this extract and believe me other extract on various topics will also come here was sir moses